Zcam and autofocus. Not the best combination. Hey, welcome to Laticam Studio. My name is Damis, AKA ProX, and this is your place to be for videography. And first of all, thanks to all new subscribers and people that commented on my previous videos. I see you and I appreciate you and try to answer your questions as much as possible. And if you didn't yet, please subscribe and put on the notification bell so you stay up to date with my latest videos. Now, before I bought the Zcam, I heard it had autofocus. Coming from a Sony and using the Sigma 18 to 35, the autofocus was perfect. I do a lot of gimbal work and with gimbals, it's easy to have autofocus because when you move around real quick and you do fast motions, it's easy when the autofocus is on and just focuses for you. And with the Sony, I had no problems with the Sigma 18 to 35 uh, to focus quick and whatever, whatever I pointed at, it just focused real quick and uh, got real sharp images. So when I heard Zcam at autofocus, I thought, hmm, that's a nice option. I can use that when I do gimbal work. But it turns out that the autofocus on the Zcam is not that good. It's, it's good, but it's not reliable. That's the most important thing. It's not reliable. You can't trust on it to focus the right thing for you wherever you put it on. When you autofocus, it's sharp and accurate, but when you move it a little bit, it starts to hunt for different things to focus on. And it's not that fast. Like when you focus on something, it takes some time before the focus comes in and then it's locked in focus. So that's not really working for me because uh, doing a lot of gimbal work, you need to autofocus real quick. So when I got the Seacam, I had to learn to shoot on manual because I spoke with some uh, cinematographers and they said, cinematographers don't use autofocus. Now, most of the cinema lenses also are manual, so no autofocus at all. So I had to learn to shoot manual. And yeah, I'm getting pretty good at it, but I still need some work. It's a new way for me to understand how manual focusing works and I'm getting pretty good at it so it works for me but if you're really into autofocus and uh, autofocus is high on your list then I wouldn't recommend to use it on the Zcam so teach yourself to shoot manual because you'll see that if you go on film sets or your goal is to do bigger productions then on set there's no autofocus lenses all cinema lenses have manual focus so learn to manual focus because if your goal is to do bigger productions then you need to work with cine lenses and cine lenses don't have autofocus so teach yourself to shoot manual let's jump into the menu and go to the focus tab and there you see the focus mode is on autofocus as soon as I pull the switch on the lens it goes to manual focus switch it back and it goes to autofocus and the focus area you can switch that between the flexible zone or human track um, I didn't test this option because uh, I was quickly finished with autofocus so I left all the settings like that and I just started manual focusing but if you want to test it you can uh, test it the human track is supposed to track people and uh, help the lens to find the right focus when somebody is moving or something is moving and the flexible zone is just a zone to focus and test it out for yourself to see what's the best option for you then we continue to the continuous autofocus the live continuous autofocus and the continuous autofocus sensitivity that's the three options we're going to discuss today and let's start off with the first one, continuous autofocus. You can switch it off or you can switch it on. Now what that option does is uh, when you turn it on um, and you focus on something, it doesn't focus automatically. You can press the OK button, which has the autofocus underneath it. And with the OK button, the lens automatically starts focusing on uh, whatever you're aiming at could be a nice option if you're 
like uh, you want to focus on something real quick just press ok it focuses and it locks in focus and that's it so that could be a handy option and i think probably the only thing i would use the autofocus for this, it's a handy option you could just press ok focuses that's it so when you turn on the live continuous autofocus and especially with this lens it starts to hunt for focus and search wherever the focus is wherever you point it and especially with the sigma 18 to 35 uh, that's known for uh, sounding like a coffee grinder i don't know if you hear it the coffee is done yeah so with the live continuous autofocus, I don't like that option because it just keeps hunting for things I don't want. And as soon as you turn the camera to another point, it just starts hunting all the time. So the continuous autofocus, I don't really like that option. But if you like it, if that's your thing, do what you gotta do. And last but not least, the continuous autofocus sensitivity. And there you can choose between low, middle or high. High, it's more sensitive middle it's yeah it's normal and low uh, that means you don't need a lot of sensitivity because you don't move around a lot so we're gonna test all these options and I'm gonna put some sample footage later on so stick around for the sample footage so do you like autofocus or not let me know in the comments and let me know your experience with autofocus maybe you have some different experience on the Z cam with autofocus for me I don't like the autofocus option on the Z cam so I don't use it I learned to shoot manual from now on and yeah that's just the way it is but if you have different experience put it down in the comments and so we can learn from each other and get better every day back to the program so i don't want to spend too much time on the autofocus because i'm not really using it so it's only to let you know how the autofocus works and um, my experience with the autofocus maybe you got a different experience possible but enough talking let's watch some sample footage i took with the z cam and the sigma 8 and the 35 with the autofocus on so you can judge for yourself what the autofocus looks like on the z cam and maybe you'll use it or maybe not but my tip is shoot manual let's go Hope you like that footage and um, yeah judge for yourself if you like the autofocus or not if you got like a talking head setting maybe the autofocus could be nice because it's like quiet setting and there's not really much movement so if a person moves a little bit the autofocus just adjust to that uh, in a slow way and maybe that works for you but I just leave it on manual and then I focus it myself use the peaking to see if you if you're really in focus uh, with the manual focus and that works for me also a quick tip um, if you do a lot of gimbal work and then it's uh, better to use a higher aperture I learned that from uh, my homie Quincy from cutting edge designs check him out he's a dope video editor cameraman uh, special effects guy whatever he just got dope production check him out Quincy cutting edge designs but he gave me a tip that when you shoot on a higher aperture for let's say f5 or f6 when it's possible with the lighting etc and then you get a much cleaner image 
on your lens and it also got a bigger focus so you don't have to worry about things going out of focus real quick and that's a real handy tip I'm using right now so when I'm on my gimbal I put it at f4 or maybe f6 sometimes when the, when the lighting is right and then I don't have to worry about things going out of focus because a lot of things are gonna be in focus you're not gonna get bokeh or the nice blurry background but if that's not really required then just use a higher aperture and you get more in focus especially for gimbal work it's really handy so that's it for autofocus as i said earlier i'm not using it anymore i do everything manual and i'm learning using my peaking to see if i'm in focus and if it's something for you you can use it but i don't use it anymore if you have some tips and tricks anything or you have some questions for me or you just want to leave a comment maybe you want to comment on my new setting that's also possible leave it down in the comments and of course don't forget to subscribe and put on the notification bell so you stay up to date with my latest videos and that's it for today i see you next time peace